watch this, this right here. This right here, nigga. This right here, nigga. <laughs> Just say signature. Kiss the death. Come on. <laughs> yeah. Shout out Boomdag. He produced this. That's my nigga. Now trending. Living life cause I'm young, sipping on that deli young yeah. People always wanna hate, I tell they yes to carry on yeah. Baggage everywhere, I don't need to carry on People yeah. asking for money but Hey everybody, my name is April Nicole And welcome to Sister Sarone I'll be doing this reading for Capricorn Sun, Moon, Rising, North Node, Venus Probably Mars and Jupiter too, I don't know We'll see what comes out and we'll, then we'll kind of see how it goes. All right. I'm doing your love reading for June. Um, thank you guys for joining me so much. I appreciate the views I do get. And um, we're going to start. Okay, Capricorn. If you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe. I'm doing personals. I have a sale in the description box below. I've already put them in the other videos. And you can feel free to book a reading, a session. I changed the business name. So... My cash handles are different. At the end of the month, my PayPal's will be dismantled. I'm going to stop taking payments from there. And um, I will make a new PayPal. Okay, guys? All right. I just wanted a new, fresh name. I, am, I mean, Sister Girl, I've had it for years, but I'm ready for something different. All right. And I'm going to actually go to school for nails, too, because I'm actually doing my own nails. But um, one of my nails broke and it broke my fingernail and then this one broke my fingernail so i'm probably gonna do one on my thumb and then let these two grow out but anyways all right what's going on for capricorn for june june i get shook let's see consider your foundation look at how committed you are to love hmm. looking at your source of commitment to relationships as a whole Capricorn, Sun, and Rising, Venus, North Node. What are the messages for June? Ooh. Be authentic. Be real and true to who you are and how you feel. So someone is lying to themselves. Someone is definitely lying to themselves. Ooh. What else is going on for Capricorn? Someone isn't living in their truth. Someone is lying. Let's see. Anything else for Capricorn? I only got two cards right now. Usually more drop out for Capricorn in June. Okay, true love. Love is once in a lifetime. Someone is hiding their emotions about who they really like. Yeah, I love you. Someone is hiding that they love someone. Oh, Capricorn. Okay, I ain't gonna cry because I said I wasn't gonna do this today. Every time I cry, I get a headache, so I'm trying not to. My husband's like, you need aspirin? You've been crying today, haven't you? Yes. Okay, let's see. Uh, anything else for Capricorn? Capricorn got me fucking bubbly right now. I'm fucking... Okay, do something for someone. You're not giving someone attention. Okay. I'm, I'm just looking at these two. You're not spending quality time with someone, and you're not, you're not being in the present, it says. So you're not talking to someone that you like. Practice compassion. Yes, you like someone. And these are the bottom of the decks. So I'm going to leave them there. I'm not going to even take them and put them in the top. No, they go at the bottom. You are in love with someone and you are not being honest about that fucking truth. Well, I thought I saw some um some eyelash shit. I did my eyelash before I did this video. But for real, no, no shit, no shit. I'm sorry, I got off track. You like somebody and you're not fucking telling the person who it is. I get that this person, you really like them. And I get that they, they stir you. But Capricorn, you aren't saying a word. You're very quiet. Ooh. Spending time together. You are not talking to this person. And it says, be in the present and dream of the future. You're not even in the present. Practice compassion. The bottom. Um, the only thing that is real is love. And that was kind of, oh, that was, I don't know if that was a reverse. You don't believe in love. That's why you don't approach this person. You don't believe in love. You don't believe in romance. You don't believe in tradition. You don't believe in being taken. You don't believe in sex. You believe in sex, but you don't believe in love. That's that's sad. That's pathetic, actually. You know, I've been broken hearted a lot of times in my life, and I still believe in love. I've been cheated on. I've been hit, abused. 
I've been in a lot of fucked up situations, but I never blame all men for my problems. I say that the nigga that fucked me over is the one that did me wrong. But I get that this person has never been in love ever. They've never had anybody they've ever loved. And this person is the first person they've ever been in love with. And they are fucking afraid to step forward to this person because this person must be that bitch. And they don't want to fuck up anything. They don't want to drop their plate, do something stupid. They feel like they're going to fumble. Capricorns hate rejection. You know, you. I get the feeling like if you came to this person, just told them what it is, you'd be good. This person, I get that this person wouldn't even really reject you like that if they didn't like you, if they didn't. I get that if you real, this person might respect you. Like, case in point, if I didn't like somebody and they came up to me and they told me they liked me, I'd be like, oh, damn, that's fucked up. I probably would already know, but I know people like me don't say nothing. And I'd be like, damn, okay, I knew that or I didn't know. Okay, well, um, I'm glad that you told me. I don't really feel the same way, but can we be friends? Like, um, maybe we could be friends. Like, maybe we could hang out and kick it, like, get to know each other. I don't want to be your girl because I'm married, but, like, I want to be cool with you. Like, let's, you might actually be a dope motherfucker. Let's, let's kick it. Like, for real. Like, I'm, as long as you ain't kill nobody, rape nobody like R. Kelly and no shit like that, like, I'm open. I like that. I don't never do nothing no way. You know what I'm saying? Maybe this person is kind of like me or someone else. They may actually be open to you. Don't always assume you'll be rejected, Capricorn. I get that you are fucking shaking in your boots. That's not sexy. Every woman likes a man that's um, aggressive and forceful and takes him by. I love a man that tells me what to do. Not strip my fucking, like, I'm a Sagittarius, so not strip my fucking power to say no or yes. I don't like the daddy vibe, but I like the, mm, you know, I tell my husband, like, be more aggressive. Mm, like, I'm like, ooh, okay, all right, shit, okay, daddy Capricorn. You know what I'm saying? Like, okay, be a man. This is a masculine. Or it could be, I don't, I, I don't see no feminine holding back their feelings. If they are, it's because they afraid that the guy ain't going to like them back, but that's different. But maybe it's a woman, I don't know. But I get that you're not telling anybody. You're not giving your attention to someone. Um, it says, consider your foundation. See how committed you are to love. Some of y'all ain't committing no fucking love. You niggas like to fuck around and do whatever. Let's look at 50. <laughs> love my ass. Love means committing without guarantees. And love we give ourselves completely in the hope it will be lasting. Love is an act of faith. Surround yourself with love and know what your life will be better for it. Strong relationships and love can come from friendship. For lasting love, support those you treasure and be a genuine friend. So relationships are based upon affection, common values, and share respect. Take things slow. Do not rush. Release fear that you have about love. Just said that shit. If a person brings out the best in you and you and them, you guys are on the right track. What the? Yeah, you. how you going to know if this person really is for you and you this, for you this person if you won't fucking go towards them and tell them how you feel? You'll never fucking know. So basically what you're saying is... There's a million dollars out there. You got a dollar in your pocket for a lottery ticket, but you don't want to play because you're afraid someone else is going to win. Well, you know what? Someone else is going to win. They're going to take your ticket, claim your winnings, and then they're going to walk off, and you're going to look like, oh, well, you didn't play your fight, nigga. So guess what? You never had a chance to begin with. <laughs> Damn, that's fucked up. Ain't it, Capricorn? That sounds fucked up, don't it? Don't it make you mad? Get your ass up and buy you a motherfucking... Dig it, bitch. Hold on, I got one in my bra. Oh, I did. Damn, I took it out. But you get where I'm coming from. Literally, I had to take it in my bra. I bought one. Um, shit. Bitch, woo. All right, anyways. Enough said. 39, 39. Can't tell everybody all that. All right. Authenticity. It says it's important. Sometimes it's easier to stifle your emotions and do something you wouldn't normally do. Yeah, y'all motherfuckers don't want to come out. Uh, be candid about who you really are. Accept others for who they are and don't try to change nobody. Your confidence is not where it's at. You may have lost the ability to connect to yourself. You adapted yourself to fit into someone else's ideas and giving up on everything you wanted to make yourself make someone else happy. Stop hiding how you really feel. So basically, you could be afraid to go towards somebody because you're afraid you're going to upset the whole group of people, your ex-girlfriend or your mama, some shit. Um... Take care of yourself so you can, in the present, be the real you. You're not a real nigga. you a fake motherfucker. Not, you got to be you. You got to be reminded to be a real nigga. What the fuck, Capricorn? So basically, you out here being fake as fuck with motherfuckers. Well.
in order for you to be a real be a real love you have to be a real nigga five has changed you haven't changed until you do something that's going to step outside your comfort zone you're never going to get what you want you can like a bitch from miles away but she ain't going to never give you the love you want because you won't step, up and step to the plate and get it that's pathetic i mean i've never known a capricorn man to not be forceful and aggressive so this person must really make you feel insuperior like not superior like this is a bad bitch and you can't come up to her because you're chicken shit i'm gonna name this reading chicken shit because that's what it kind of gave me the vibe of like shit i told my husband hey yo i like you you know i think you fine as hell so what we gonna do he like oh really yeah i like you the whole time you scary and i almost walked away from him he's like no 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 wait, wait, wait. hold on hold on let me prove to you i am that nigga okay i'm waiting and we're married and he a nerd like he's not he's like the trip over his words no no flirt he didn't know how to say the right things it was actually pretty fun i like nerds so i'm like oh that's so cute you know i'm like oh you're so handsome trying you know what i'm saying and i'm i'm hard to, like everybody when we walk around they're like damn how you get her he like are oh, you trying to say i can't get a girl like this no nigga you are lame you know what i'm saying i like dating lames i like dating nerds because I like men that don't have... I'm not saying I like hobos and broke niggas. But I like niggas that are the underdog. Like, I like the I like the shy, cute ones. But I like the vocal ones, too. Like, I, my husband got, like, this... Um, he got, like, this nerd, but he got a bad streak. Like, he's a really good guy. But underneath all of that, you got him fucked up. He will fuck you up. Type of, that's sexy to me. Like, I can't never pinpoint his movements. He's so random. You know? Be that... Like, I ain't telling you about my husband, but, like... Fine. He found his authentic self by just being him, knowing what he is and what he isn't, and just being that. That's why I love that nigga. Like, you got to be you. It's going to be a woman out there be like, damn, that nigga's so fine. He him. He's standing in his power. Like, he adjusting his suit tie or he put it on his, his Tims or his fucking whatever. Like, fucky Pelly Pelly. What the fuck y'all wear? Like, that's kind of some Chicago shit. <laughs> but you get where I'm coming from. Like, oh, Lord Jesus. I got big ass titties, so it's hot. Okay. Don't judge me. Ooh. <laughs> I'm ratchet as hell, y'all. Anyways. True love. When you get, you be a real you, and you know where you stand, and you show acts of kindness, booyah, you get this. True love that's only once in a lifetime. The one you wanted, that you were afraid of, comes to you. You get it. Voila. Here's your gift. After you are a real nigga. Real. Recognize real. Like Ghetto Nun said. It didn't say everybody recognize real. It said real recognize real. Okay? So, you're going to have to be a real nigga. Sorry, I don't know any other way to say it. To get what you want. Or you don't get it. Period. This love is once in a lifetime. This relationship is a part of your life plan. So you need this. This is so. My bad, Capricorn. Someone called me during your video. So, I mean, I was literally going strong. And I had a client that knows that when I'm open, I'm open. And I don't answer. Nobody calls. This is a reading. So, anyways. Where were we at? Because we didn't got so dis. I hate being interrupted, y'all. Okay. So, this person is a soulmate. It's a true relationship connection that will be almost perfectly balanced. Like, when you meet this motherfucker, everything going to fall into place. You won't know what to say, know what to do. Like, you're going to be fine. Hold on, y'all. My eyelashes was killing me, yo. I had to shed my eye. I'm still getting the hang of this. Um, I am not a girly girl. It says, maintaining the love in a relationship takes more than good intentions. You can want somebody but not be good for them. Good intentions are a first step, but you must learn how to nurture your relationship every day. This is vital to staying connected and growing your love into a strong bond. Being open to love when it shows up in your life. Be authentic and avoid changing yourself to mirror your true potential partner. Make sure that you are voicing your values. True love is elusive and rare. Find someone who meets your emotional, spiritual, and physical needs. So basically, 
you're going to have to be open to love and don't change yourself to be what this other person is be who you are and that's how it's going to grow and then you get the i love you so really capricorn you can't get the person you want i'm sorry i gotta do my eye home okay sorry y'all um, I, I, again i'm so used to not wearing eyelashes so my eyes water um yeah, it seems like you can't even get the real relationship until you become a real nigga. Like, I'm, I can't say it no other way. Let's get some tarot on that. What is do something special for someone for Capricorn in June? You ain't doing it. Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, you lonely as fuck. You pretend to have this nice-ass life. You could be rich. The tower. Yeah, you... Are you trying to destroy that, that look? Are you destroying being a hoe? Being undependable, unloyal? Yeah, it seems like, are you destroying this secret? The Nine of Pentacles is a gold digger. Yeah, or someone that's financially dependent. Are you trying to end someone's financial dependence? This could also be someone that they, they live a very nice life, but they're alone. They're unhappy. The Nine of Pentacles can be someone going in circles or someone that wants to step inside the box. The High Priestess can be secrets or intuition. What the fuck? Let's get some more cards on that. That's weird as hell. So basically, you're not doing something different because you're afraid of someone being a goat. Let's see, huh? What is doing something different for Capricorn? Now I got some shit. Ace of Swords. Are you t are you being honest about your disappointment? It could have stemmed from childhood. Um, eight of Wands and Four of Wands. Are you trying to get into a relationship very quickly? And the Three of Swords and the the the. I get that. Yeah, the King of Wands is separate. Okay. Um, some of you guys are going to be honest about why you guys aren't giving because it has to do with family. Some of you guys are going to be honest about an obstruction. I get that this has to do with family. Maybe you come from a bad family environment. But that has nothing to do with you giving to someone. Maybe you feel like it would piss off your friends. If you were to go after this person. But if you can't be yourself around your friends. You need a new group of friends. For real. Anything else for the do something um, for someone card for Capricorn? Somebody's afraid of their friends. Yeah. It's like. Yeah. Somebody. Yeah. This is somebody that. Okay. So. The title card. Something could have been unofficial with an ex. They could have fell out with someone. So someone could just be getting out of a relationship with an ex. And now they're trying to find their love. But it's like, this is a complicated time for them. Maybe it's some gossiping involved. They want something. They could be talking to someone. Maybe they fell in love with someone. They're going to talk to someone. But they're confused on where, where to go. So someone doesn't want to give you something because they don't know your answer. Okay. What is the Consider Your Foundation card for Capricorn? Summarize it. North Node. What is that? Consider Your Foundation for Capricorn. Damn. Uh, okay, I found it. Um, the strength card and the high refine. Yeah, someone doesn't. Yeah, someone doesn't want a relationship. They don't want a marriage, or they feel like they're not strong. They're not even trying. What is the strength card? I don't like that. Strength card. Two of swords. Yeah, someone is making a decision. Um, what is the decision? Two of swords. They want to win, bam. Thank you, ma'am. Nobody want that shit. Yeah, the Five of Cups, King of Cups, Reverse. Someone is sad about something. Temperance and the Lovers. Okay, so someone could feel... Five of Cups is like rejection or a disappointment or a loss. The King of Cups is a hoe. He's very emotionally uncensored. The Temperance card could be looking at yourself for why things didn't work out. Could be with a Sagittarius or a Gemini. The Lovers card can be about a love decision. Hmm. Are you going to walk away... Uh, unhappy for not trying or are you going to find a way to resolve this and get your love life is what it's saying you could be dealing with a Gemini or a Sagittarius it's the same person to really be honest with you so someone is trying to find out if they want to be in a relationship or they want to be in a commitment what is considered your foundation for Capricorn summarizing in June okay somebody else card is coming out eight of wands tower reverse and a chariot so someone yeah, someone wants to move and rebuild and 
maybe you want to move towards someone or talk to someone. If you if you if you do, yo, go after that shit. The chariot and the tower card, like, I get that you'll be fine. I get that maybe it might be some kinks in it, but you might get what you want, Capricorn, honestly. Hmm. As long as you rebuild your own life, you can have it. I mean, I don't see spirit saying no. What is being authentic for Capricorn? Yeah, sabotage. Six of Wands. You sabotage yourself. You have a pack-like mentality, or it's going to take a while. Um, three of Wands is lack of foresight, lack of planning, lack of... Um, you feel... Six of Wands, like, someone sab... Are you sabotaging yourself? Are you being a, a diva? Or arrogant, pompous. The three of wands is like someone needing to win approval. You feel like someone, yeah, three of wands is like not gaining someone's approval. Needing to win someone. Are you being an arrogant dick to get someone? I hope not. That's not going to work out. Five of Pentacles says you're going to be left out in the cold. So you're going to try to be an asshole to someone. Someone will be like, mm, nah, I'm good, thank you. And they're going to leave you hanging. That's why you get rejected because you're a dick. Be authentic. What is being authentic for Capricorn, Sun, and Rising Venus? You don't know because you can't come at her like that. The King of Pentacles. Someone gonna try to buy your way in or take the low road. Someone's a, someone is a fucking financial loop. I, I'm sorry. Either someone is broke or someone used their money for a fucked up situations like this, like to bribe people. Yeah, someone's trying to give you some money. Conflicted. Someone is conflicted. Like justice. The Page of Pentacles. This could be a legal situation. Maybe someone is afraid to leave their marriage. Or this could be an actual Libra you're afraid of. You're afraid of a complication with the Libra that you work with. Um, the Ace of Wands can be like delays. The Death card and the Seven of Pentacles. Are you trying to like wait till someone leaves their job or something to talk to someone? It's like they won't leave or something. Uh, what's being authentic? For Capricorn, view them around. Okay. Yeah, like, this is from some type of past trauma. Someone trying to be what they're not. And the Two of Cups is like some type of like disappointment, discontentment, secret liaisons. Yeah, someone is a cheater. They never had a stable environment in their lives. That's all they know is cheating and fucking infidelity. They get somebody from the fucking Caribbean or some shit. Could be um, also an Asian man. What is true love? Three of Wands. Yeah, someone doesn't want Three of Pentacles. Like, someone wants you to compete for them. I ain't competing for no nigga. Seven of Wands is like, if someone doesn't. What is Three of Pentacles reverse? Yeah, I get competition. First of all, I ain't competing for no nigga. I don't think so. Eight of Swords, Nine of Cups. Someone's deeply unhappy. The Queen of Cups is like emotional instability. Um, two of Wands and the High Priestess. Uh, someone wants to be forgiven. Nine of Cups is like someone's deeply unhappy. Someone is like emotionally insecure or they're burnt out. Two of Wands, like someone wants to tell someone something they mean well. The High Priestess. Let me see. Let me go back around again. What is true love for Capricorn? That's so many damn messages, y'all. Alright. Ten of Wands. Yeah, something's a burden. You're not a very good lover, Capricorn. You yeah, you 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 come in, you beat it up, you argue with a bitch and leave. Like then you don't even know if you want to be stable. Like the Knight of Pentacles is like you don't know what you you don't know what you want. That's why you gotta reconsider your foundations. And the card of the deck, because it matches the book, True Love, I Love You for Capricorn. Yes, you want to offer your love to someone that's challenging, risk, risky, boring, damn, not boring. You want to talk to someone that is just like different. Like they're not like everybody else. This, this person gives you breath. Like they're, they challenge stuff. They're vocal, like they're fiery, like they're young. They they come across as exuberant. Like this person is unlike any other. That's why you like this person. I 
I get that you never had a very successful relationship. A lot of disappointments. You don't believe in love. You are non-confrontational towards this person. And that's your disappointment. Maybe because of family. I get family issues come into play. Anything else for Capricorn for the I love you card? Yeah, this is family. I don't think you've ever gotten enough love from them. Two of Cups. And there's anything else for I love you for Capricorn? The Empress, the Will of Fortune. Yeah, you, someone's mother. Your mama didn't love you. Your mama, I'm surprised she wouldn't reverse. Somebody's mama, something bad happened with them. They had some type of unfortunate situation. It could have been a fight with a dad. It could be a fight with someone's father. Um, someone could have been cheating. The father could have been cheating. Someone needed therapy for something. Could have been the Queen of Pentacles. Um, there could have been an ending. Maybe someone didn't fight for the family. Um, three of Pentacles, three of Wands. Yeah, three of Pentacles. Um, what's the Ten of Swords? It's like somebody betrayed you. The Star of Depression. Yeah, you're depressed about something. Um, he's back. The spirit told me. Nope, not those. Yeah, it's like you're depressed. What's why'd you give them to the source? King of Pentacles. Somebody wants to rebound. Somebody wants to change something. Um something isn't all that it seems to be. Someone could be trying to betray you, or someone maybe Capricorn, you are not good at love. You end up betraying someone that you love because of your bad actions. Or you could just intentionally try to betray someone. The king and queen of pentacles, like someone, you're trying to rebound and stab someone in the back and, and, and leave them confused. Could be someone you work with at a distance. I don't like it at all. I, I, but I still get family trauma from the situation. Okay, Capricorn. That shit cray. Um, you let me know how that shit roll with you. I'm going to glue y'all videos together. And y'all let me know. That shit crap. I'm going to name this video scary as fuck. Because y'all niggas are scary. Ooh. Hold on. I got a piece of hair in my ice. I put my wig hair in there. Yeah. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. It seems like... It's scary. I'm not attractive. Is there anything else for Capricorn? I'm not trying. Anything else for Capricorn? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node. The dog. The dog. The whip. The fish. The lady. The anchor. Yeah, it's like you want to fuck someone. It's like you want to fuck someone. The fish is like something growing. What is the fish reverse and the lady? Like, someone is a bad person. I don't like the ladies. Like, someone's loose. It's a fish. The clouds and the bear. The rider and the clock. Yeah, it's like you want to come in and, and fuck with someone. What is the fish and the lady? Is somebody... Hey, yo, you might want to check your vagina. After sex with this person, they may have something. Somebody... See all that damn traffic and shit? That could be an omen. Stop. Beep. Yeah. You got a lot of fish in the sea. Maybe something isn't growing. Crossroad is like someone playing double size. Maybe you have double options. Hmm. You could be talking to one lady and talking to another. One is stable and the one that's upright. You could be, yeah, you're talking to somebody, but it ain't going nowhere. And then the other lady is stable. Okay. See. Anything else for Capricorn? Summer rising, being a no. Um, sickle and the snake. Yeah. Yeah, child. There is some drama going on. Sickle is something quick, but it's like something isn't quick or something isn't nipped in the bud. You could be deceiving someone into a home or deceiving someone into a relationship or, a, or some type of commitment. What is the snake? 
the fox a, a work some type of job what is the fox and the snake the fuck yeah the sun the ship and the cross someone could be shining light on some type of deception about a trip um i get that it could be like a fake work environment like someone could be offering you an opportunity to move but it's not real it's bullshit so someone is trying to tell you that why would someone try to what snake why'd you give them the snake and the fox like somebody's job isn't real the bear yeah it's a job the fish yeah someone's the bouquet yeah someone wants to someone wants to give you a job but they don't really want to give you a job. They want you to be with them. Or someone is lying to you. And they're they're trying to pretend like they like you. And they really don't like you. What is the house and the child? Okay. Um, the stork. And yeah. It's like someone wants you to have their baby. They, yeah. Someone is not committed. Someone doesn't love you. They feel like they're secure. They're so there's a male. There's a male out here trying to have a baby with a woman to secure his spot but i get the woman is barren damn can't have kids with a barren person god damn so someone doesn't have someone is cut off or they're they don't they can't have kids what else for capricorn anything else for capricorn yeah someone can't have kids um yeah like the house is like some type of home environment like feeling comfortable the cross is like someone isn't into you or there's some type of hardships or trepidations the bitch is like keeping it open what is like open emotions what's cross the mice yeah some type of my some type of situation that's gnawing at you anxiety this could be a home situation okay let's end capricorn's reading what is coming up for july for capricorn the gentleman okay so there's a gentleman here um come on what is this gentleman doing here for capricorn oops sun moon rising venus and north node what is going on for capricorn sun moon rising venus and north node the gentleman huh the lilies and then okay so there's two men out here this could be a gay relationship. Someone could be involved with men. Yeah, I get that someone is giving a, a gift to another man. It could be an older man. So someone could come out that they're gay and they like other men. They want you to believe that they like women, but they like men. Um, someone could be getting married to another man or let's see. What is the bouquet, the gentleman? And the, someone wants to commit the lilies. What is the gentleman, the bouquet, and the ring? The ship, someone is moving. The anchor, yes, yeah, someone is moving to be with someone they love. Could be this guy right here. Yeah, someone is moving. So why is this other man here? Someone's moving permanently for the snake. See? Some snacks. The rider. Okay, so something is not new or someone is coming in. They're not coming in from a long distance. The key. Someone is going to be able to charm the snake. So whoever this person is that comes in, they are not that charming. Someone could have. Someone could be cheating on their relationship. This person could be a key person. But someone is being deceptive in their marriage or someone is trying to underroot a marriage. But someone is moving. What else is going on for Capricorn in July? Okay. The anchor. Yeah, someone is moving. Someone could be at sea. What is the anchor for Capricorn? Yeah, the right and right is reverse again. Someone is coming in and you know this motherfucker. What is the okay? Why is the right reverse for Capricorn? Sun moon rising Venus and North Node. The bouquet. Yeah, someone is coming and giving you help from an unexpected source. What is the bouquet? Yeah, the fox and the moon. Someone is not deceptive. I get that someone just pretends like they their job opportunity would be fake, but they actually do want to be with you and bust in private. So y'all let me know how that is for y'all. And take care. Bye guys.